can't come half stepping with big plaits. No ma'am. No ma'am. I would prefer not to. I actually want somebody older, like 90. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, Nikki here and I got a question and answer for you all today, but before we get any further, you have to hear from our sponsor, which is Eunice, Eunice, Eunice Hair, so let's hop straight into it. Guys, let's hop straight into the packaging. It came in a bag that you can store your wig in in case you do not want to keep the box. Everything is so pink. I know my pink girls love that, so let's hop straight into it. I absolutely love these lashes they send. Oh my gosh, I do. This is like my favorite free gift that they send. They sent a bag as well that is full of goodies. There are press-on nails in here, HD wig caps, and there's an edge band to tie your edges down. So this is 24 inches, but it is a long 24 inches. This beautiful red color i love this color guys pre-plucked pre-bleached pre everything you're not so bleached your lace is cut and it's plucked already so there's a comb at the back with an adjustable strap and you can add this strap right here to wear the wig glueless it's that simple. So let's hop straight into it. Of course, I always tint the color of the lace, even though it is HD. Sometimes when the camera hit, it still flashes back, so that's why I do that. And then next, I'm just gonna adjust the wig to my head and try it on to see, you know, what I'm working with, what all I have to do. And this is a fairly simple wig, but I'm gonna take my wax stick and just go ahead and flat this down and move everything out the way so I can see what I need to do. All other products that I am using will be linked below the video. I'm just going to tie this up and get straight to it. We're going to take the Got To Be Glue Gel. And this is what I'm going to use to adhere the wig to my head. This is a closure wig, but it is that closure that I love. I think it's 9x4 or 9x6. It will be below in the description box. It stretches so far, but does not stretch to the ear. You guys know I love that because I hate the ear part. Oh my gosh. And this makes it so simple. So after that is dry, I'm just going to push that down to my head and tie it up with the band so that it can go ahead and adhere to my head so after that step is done we're going to go in with the even spray this is my favorite spray in the whole wide world and we're just going to melt the lace with that just do it little sections and spread it out because it kind of spray out kind of wild you know so just little by little we're going to dry this a little bit or we're going to try to dry this all the way and then what we're going to do is tie it down again so you guys know Unice Hair has all type of wigs over there. I've reviewed for them over a dozen times, guys. No joke. And I love every single wig that they've sent me. I have another one coming up in probably my next video. It's just I love them so much. So now that the wig is adhered to the head, we're going to go ahead and just work on making it neat a little bit more so i'm taking that wax stick again spraying and you guys know i love that flat iron i'm just gonna go through and bump it so if you see a wig over there don't forget that they have split and quad pay options where you don't have to pay for it all up front and they are just a good company i absolutely love their wigs so we're going to define this part a little bit more and i'm just taking my face powder and a liner brush and doing that it just makes the wig look a little bit more neater. So there you have it, guys. This is a beautiful number. I love this color. I love the length. I love the style. I love everything about this wig. Links and discount codes will be in the description bar. Okay, so now you know all of the details about the hair. Now you know a quick speed through of how I installed it. Let's get straight into the question, the answers, and the get ready with me. All right, guys, so before I get into the get ready with me, just know that I do have a full makeup channel. Um, I do. And I just did this exact same routine over on that channel, so I will link it right there. I just said that because I'm going to be answering the questions and so I'm not going to be, I'm not going to stop and say, this is Elf, this is, the, we're just going to work. But if you want detail by detail on the makeup look, 
it's over there so let's get it started so i'm not gonna lie it is getting to the point where i really hesitate on doing these now or assumptions about me or anything like that because i feel like a lot of times it's some people way to be mean or messy but we'll get to that as i ask the questions i don't even know where to start let's start by putting my contacts in be right back all right contacts are in we did go clear today um some of these questions got a little juicy yeah <laughs> but um we're just gonna moisturize our face and our lips so like i said i'm not gonna even list the makeup yes i'll, I'll list them below because i already have them from the other video so we're gonna hop straight into this where are the questions it is so many this time so i will say this if i answered it already a lot of you guys asked stuff i've already answered I will do a short version of it and direct you to the video I already answered in. So the first question is, <laughs> ironically from an ex. Now what you'll do if I, if this was a question and answer and I was putting y'all pages on here. I mean, I wouldn't do this one. But it say, do you love me? Of course. This is the ex that took care of me my last vlog. Um, a lot, a lot of love for you. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love for you. You just know, you, you know you ain't right. You know you ain't right now. Now, don't. If you want to do a story time in a vlog or something, we can do that. But, uh, you ain't right, sir. But there's never been a time in my life since 2006 that this person hasn't been there for me, helped me, um, Picked me up when I was down. No, every bruise, bump, blemish on me. Forever grateful for you, sir. Yes, I do love you. So, that's that. This next one. <laughs> this is a life update, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have our lips and our face moisturized. Let's see if we need the eye. No, we don't need the arch. So this next question say, can I fly from the, can, whoa, whoa buddy. Can I fly from the UK to take you on a date? Boy, them, them pockets long now, ain't they? Hold on, let me cover up. Sir, sir, that's a little extensive. But, um, no, I'm not dating like that. Come on, come on. What's gonna hurt? It ain't hurt me. You know? Um, I'm very strategic in how I'm dating. I'm not dating anybody I met offline. I'm not dating anybody who I'm dating or dealing with. I already know them. Mutual, old friend, old ex, something like that. I'm just not at any street shop because I'm t I ain't wrapped too tight in the head. And I don't want to be, you know, shooting at somebody's son, daughter, and we ain't even together. Nah. That ain't happening. So, nah, sir, don't waste your coins because I probably won't go. <laughs> my problem is, let me tell y'all what my problem is. I don't like being asked out by strangers. I feel like everybody I know, I like to know them through somebody. So if some ish pop off, they can say, that's so-and-so crazy, the family, I mean, that's so-and-so cousin, the family do be saying he crazy, or if some stuff pop off, I know where your granny stay. If you try me, you get what I'm saying? I don't like, so I could never like Facebook date, Hinge date. I be getting these things from the Facebook dating app all the time saying, one of your friends has a mutual friend that has a crush on you. Sign up to see who. I don't know if that's game, but and I just be so curious. But one day I push that button, and baby, 17 people being me at one time. I wasn't even on that one minute. I said, wait, is they just somewhere waiting? Girl, uh, y'all, that's too much for me. And I'm very particular about who I date. My my whole last marriage, I was like the head person in charge and my next whatever I do you gotta bring it you gotta make at least three times as much as me you gotta bring it 
I, I'm not, I can't do it no more. I've been taking care of myself since I was 17 and there's nothing wrong with that, but I think I deserve a break. <laughs> okay, so the next one say, keep doing you and living life. I'm here for it, sis. Thank you so much. I'm trying my hardest. I have my good and my bad days. I won't complain. I do that enough in my vlogs. You know, life is really, really showing me something. Because this ain't really as hard as I thought it was going to be. It, it, it was all in my mind. You know what I'm saying? I knew that me and Nicole were like really good friends. And I knew that. But I didn't know that it was going to be this easy to transition. Not saying that I don't get sad. Not saying that I don't have my moments. But it's nothing like I thought it was going to be. So y'all know how I go. I'm going to dry my hair. But I'm going to speak louder so you're going to still be able to hear me. What are your goals for this year? What hap what okay, this is two questions. My goals for this year. I recently just shared. I was in front of the prayer mountain and I said I no longer share my goals. Um, that's why I don't do vision boards anymore. Um, because I just feel like some things are better. You just pop out. Boom, I knew this. Boom, I knew that. Boom, I'm launching this. I feel that way now. Cause when I made my vision boards and stuff. It puts too many people in your business and give them ideas and it puts too much pressure on me because I'm like, boom, I said I was going to do this and I haven't. I'm a failure. So I just don't share that anymore. Sorry. And then the next part of the question say, what keeps you motivated? Honestly, right now, what's keeping me motivated or in general is the fact that I have a big fear of failure. Um... I just don't want to be back in certain situations that I've been in in the past, like money-wise um, and etc. So I grind because I just, I just want to make sure I don't lose stuff that I've gained. And I got a daughter watching me, y'all. My daughter has been through enough. My daughter grieves just like I grieve. And so I am a strong believer of your kids adapt to what you do. I think I explained that in the last video when I was saying how, um, I'm not going to bring her up, but your kids adapt to what you do. And so I feel like if my daughter see me fold, when she gets older and stuff happens, she's going to fold. Not saying that you have to be strong all the time, but I want my daughter to know that it gets greater later and keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? So that's what motivates me. Okay, I'm going to address this because if you caught this on Instagram, it really irritated me because I asked the questions, right? Ask me anything. So whoever this was saw it from their original page, went and made a fake page, <laughs> made the fake page seven minutes ago, followed me six minutes ago. Asked the question five minutes ago. So you went through all of this to ask the question. Oh gosh, what am I getting in this brush? How about I not use that one? Um, You went through all of that to ask a question. When you could have just asked from your real page. I am very transparent, sometimes too transparent. I did a video before and I was like, what happened to you and you? And the part of that point of that video was like, if I stop working with a company or stop dealing, it's just me telling you what happened. In my eyes, it wasn't to be messy. I understand how it translated out of that. But if me telling my side of the story or what happened is messy, then so be it. Um, so when I ask you guys to ask me anything, I, I genuinely don't mind you asking me anything. What I do mind is when you do it from a fake page. Like, come on now. Like, you took... Okay, anyway. So, you're being messy for one. I'm not going to even mention the person who they asked me about because I I'm not going to draw any attention to her channel <laughs> and not. Um, they said, um, this is Miss Marie... 1561 okay I ain't gonna do nobody else like that but it's not a real page anyway said are you and bleep still friends I'm gonna make this short and sweet y'all if you don't see them on my channel if you don't see me on their channel if you don't hear me discussing them if you don't hear them d discussing me we are all grown I know y'all can put two and two together and when I say y'all, I mean the people who I always, are oh, you and so-and-so still friends. A lot of those people y'all ask me that about, I never was friends with. Y'all see them in a video, y'all use that friend, that term friends too lightly now. I, I mean, I get what y'all are saying, but get what I'm saying. 
you already know the answer. So it's been messy. You ain't seen this person on my page in over I don't know how long and blah, 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 blah. So you can answer your own question, but you made up a whole page just to ask that. Child, I would have respected you a whole lot more and probably answered and went into detail if it came from your own page. But uh, since it didn't, have a nice day. We got a lot, so I can't spend a lot of time on one question, but y'all got where I was going with that. Get your messy ass on. So anyway, um, how are you doing? Okay, here's here's a, the easiest answer to that. When you divorce, in my eyes, it's like a debt. But the person, it's almost worse because the person's still here. And you, you really be like, dang, at one point of time, I really was in a, a, a state of mind where I would do anything for this person. I was head over heels in love with them, hence why I married them. And like, we here now. So I think that's the hardest part for me. I, I try to be Captain Sable. And I really, when I when I met my spouse, my spouse had a lot going on. And I was like, that's all simple stuff. Just get this, I'll help you. You know what I'm saying? And then <laughs> as the marriage progressed, I'm like, oh, you always got something going on. You get what I'm saying? So I left out of the marriage feeling um, like a failure because I just really thought I was going to be able to save my spouse and sh show them the beauty of life. And it kind of backfired on me because I didn't know the situation was as complicated as it was, you know. I'm not going to talk much on that. We talked. We got five, six blogs, another question and answer on our list. So, as far as me, that's the only thing that's holding me back right now is I feel like a failure. Like my marriage was a fail. Like I don't like that feeling. I hate I hate failing. I hate losing. I hate. And so that's really eating me up. Like, come on now. Like, that's how I feel. That's that, sweetheart. We got a lot more questions, so let's move it on. So besides that feeling of failure, I'm okay. I always just say I'm okay because I'm not good. I'm not bad. I'm blessed. I'm here. I'm adjusting. I'm getting through life just like any normal person would. Dealing with a lot of grief. Dealing with a lot of depression. Dealing with a lot of uh, a divorce. I'm no different than anybody else. I'm just platinum D. So it gets intensified. So the next question is new house updates where you been sis i answered that in the last <laughs> the last question and answer um my new house is doing fine it's booked to, to june first week of june well last week of may i cut the books off in case i want to move so there's nothing to update about that and i explained that in my last question and answer so we're not going to go over it again moving anytime soon that's the same person same video i answered that um to make it a quick, I don't know. I'm I'm free to stay here. I'm free to move. That's the that's the that's the perk of being big plat. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But that, that I mean seriously, that that is the good part of working hard. I wasn't put out. I wasn't made to stay with anybody. I have my own <laughs> and I have another. If I want to stay here this week and if I want to stay over there next week, I can do it. But as of right now, I explained in my other vlog, I mean, question and answer why I haven't moved. Me moving had more to do than with me moving, not moving, had more, was me not moving was, well, how the fuck am I supposed to say this? Me not moving was beyond the call. It's other factors that uh, influence that. So that's why I'm still here. This same person, baby, you need to catch up on some vlogs. Some question and answer, because everything you ask me, I already answered. Baby, where you been, sleep? Where you been on vacation? Where you been? Any plans on linking with out of town YouTubers? <laughs> I'm laughing, because I answered that already too in a vlog, no. <laughs> I mean, eventually, but right now my moves and stuff swing too much and I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I 
I already said that I get out of town. I have a mood swing and don't want to go nowhere that night. And I don't need nobody playing them. Ooh, no. I, I don't feel like it, so I'm not going. I answered that in the vlog. Let's move on. Honey had three questions, and I done answered all three of them already. How are you able to stay so authentic in a world full of influence? Love you, Platt. Love you too, babe. Who is that? I don't know who that is, but that's a good question. Because... I think it's a lot of things that influence that. For one, I've answered, kind of answered that too. I'm older, right? For two, I am the influence. Whether people want to admit it or not, whether people, whether I get the numbers or not, whether I get the views or not, whether people like me or not, I've been here. I am literally one of the first beauty bloggers on this mother. So it's kind of hard to influence me because child nothing influenced me you'll be surprised how like what people have and how they act and stuff in real life when you meet influences and stuff you like uh -huh. yeah <laughs> uh, no so that's why that's how i'm able to stay true to myself because i know what what the real is behind the camera and stuff and plus like I'm very grateful of the position I'm placed in. And so I try to stay true to that because it's the reason why I've been around so long. I can't name too many people who still here since I started. And that's because I stay true to myself. If you, no matter if you like the way I act, you don't like the way I talk, you think I'm ghetto, you think I'm niche, you think I complain too much, I do this. I still make over six figures in this game so nothing pays me I, I do get influenced though i do get it is some influences on here that i love them and what they do and who they are and how they act you know and like i'll just name a couple for example like pretty brie mua she's an og too and i love her style like it's just the only difference is I'm like a color girl. She's neutral and basics. I'm not, but I love her style. I love the way she carry herself. I love, you know, I just love that about her. So she influenced a lot of things. It's a lot of purses, sunglasses and stuff I go by because she had it on. Pockets and bows. Like I love how I love how sis is with the fashion. Sis is with the luxury, but she's down to earth. You know, um, I love Chelsea. Chelsea is half my age, probably, and can influence the heck out of me. And she just be being her. You know, I just, I I look at Chelsea and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I act like her when I was her age. But child, I was out in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Like little stuff like that. People like Dame. Dame influences me. Dame is such a sweetheart. Dame is such a sweetheart. And I didn't even know Dame watched me. I used to just watch his cooking channel. I mean, not cooking. Mookbang channel. And I put the wrong thing on. It's too motherfucking late now, baby. Talking. But he influences me because he's just genuinely nice. He texts me. He checks on me. If it's my birthday, he send me money for a drink. I mean, out camera type stuff, and none of that is put in a blog, a blog or nothing, you know. So, yeah, I do get influenced a lot, and I do love a lot of influencers, a lot of them, a lot of them for different reasons. Some of them make me laugh like hell. Um, some of them help me know where to go in Dallas, some, you know, for different reasons. But I, I think you saying more like, how do I not start doing all of that stuff that they do? It's, girl, I'm old. I'm used to it. I ain't new to it. I'm true to it. I explained that in another video before. Like, I ain't never been rich. My mama and them didn't have it all. But I always got what I want. So, I'm used to stuff. So, cars, I've had a Range Rover, 23. I've had five Lexuses. I don't know if I got like I've had house. I've had all of that. I've had designer, my brothers and stuff. 
child. My brothers and stuff was the plug boys back in the day. So I was literally walking my college campus in Burberry sandals and stuff. No joke. So it's it's just, I ain't going to tell y'all they got it, but uh, I had it. So nothing is new to me. Oh, wow. I'm spending way too much time on these questions because I literally have so many. And I'm going to try to answer all of them. So no one is like, you didn't answer my question. So... This is random, but I miss Frank Frank. Oh, Frank Frank bad, y'all. Frank Frank stank. Frank Frank is a big grown turtle now, and his tank can light up the hallway. No joke, but he's in there. I'll be staying on his mama. Um, I'll insert a clip of him, if I can remember right now. Time to get him a bigger tank so he can grow bigger. And, yeah, he's doing fine. Franklin is my daughter's turtle, which is my grand turtle. Frank Frank. Say, are you still married to Nicole? Nope. Where you been? <laughs> nope. No, we're not married. Actually, it's two months today since we haven't been married. So, hey, where the heck some of y'all been? I guess like some people might just follow me on Instagram and not here. Because it's like, how can you not know some of this? When am I going to see you again? Who is this? Oh, <laughs> girl, don't do that. Whenever, boo, let's go to lunch or something. This somebody I met at a networking event. <laughs> I'm like, who is this playing on my page? Stop playing with me. Girl, we never have a child. Just say, let's go to lunch. Let's go to dinner. Invite me to the cookout, child. Huh, that's my girl, Candy. She, um, yeah, I met her one, at one of those networking events. So next is, how are you doing truly? I've answered that already. I'm good as I can be, y'all. I'm really good as I can be. Um, as long as things stay like they are, I'll get better. i just say that. Like, um, everything's smooth. My daddy's better. His eyes have opened back up. He can see he hasn't been bothering me as much. I think his last hospital scare and me losing my wallet like really did something to my daddy because that's when I just really had to put my foot down and be like, sir, you, you can't do the help like this now. Um, me and Nicole are very cordial. Y'all see we just came back from a trip. Maybe y'all haven't depending on when this vlog go live. Whew, what is that on my brush? Hair. Sorry, y'all. So, yeah, I'm doing good. I really am. So, next, if you, if you, if given the chance to start your life over, knowing what you know now, would you take a different path or change? No, <laughs> because my life, I feel like, has been great. The Lord has blessed me. Anything I've tried to do, I've done it. I said I wanted to go to college. I did with a child. Hold on, y'all. No, my nose started running when I'm doing my makeup. I said I want to get this degree I did. Now I have a, a degree in pre-law. Um, I said I want to start businesses I did. I said, And I have literally been successful at everything I've done. I don't think nothing I've done has been a flop. So I love the path that the Lord put before me. I just wish that he take me off the strong people list sometime. God dang. It's like he like this girl capable. And I feel like everything that happens in my life. It's not me. It's around me and it affects me. So like my whole life it's been pretty good. It's just stuff be happening like losing a mom, losing a brother, losing a son, losing a sp like I don't know. I'm still very grateful though because there's some people who who would still want to have my lifestyle, you know. So no, I wouldn't choose a different path. I feel like what's for me is happening for me and I'm forever grateful so this next one say how's the dating scene is it pee in the pool the dating scene is player to me y'all I mean I was joking hold on y'all I was joking in my last vlog when I was like it's annoying cause it's a lot of what you doing what you doing what you doing um good morning beautifuls but as far as the actual dating scene it's going pretty smooth for me because I don't just date anybody. And I know everybody don't have that luxury. Like, I got homeboys who are in fraternities or homeboys who got this this homeboy that just got out of a relationship and, or an ex that's single right now. 
and I just go with the flow with things. I'm not on like no networks or nothing trying to find nobody. So I guess that's why it's not bad for me. I'm actually having a grand whole time out here <laughs> in these streets. They love me out here. So what are you actually loving about single life? Um, I don't love single life. I'm a lover girl. Oh my gosh. Every single person I've been with has been like, I've well, no, I've had a couple of quick ones, but like, I, that's why I'm still friends with all my exes. I love, love. I love having somebody to come home to. I love having somebody to have my back. I just love being in love. So I'm not really loving the single life like that, if that makes sense. I'm just, uh, I'm deal. I'm working with the cards that was dealt. dealt. Um, but if I had to say one thing, it would be like the help I get. When you married and stuff go wrong or you need a new toilet installed or, you know, just random stuff like that. Um, it's kind of hard to like get that help if your spouse not doing it. Because people are like, I ain't doing that shit, you married. You, you get what I'm saying? I have that luxury now to where like sh my toilet break today, 12 people be over here trying to fix it. Do you get what I'm saying? But when I was married, that couldn't happen. So anyway, next question. Would you ever do a small meet and greet? I have done a lot of meet and greets before. I ain't gonna lie, they really ain't my thing. <laughs> because I'm pretty, like, I, I'm pretty all over Dallas. So if anybody ever wanted to see me, it's not hard to run into me. I know you probably hear my think, mm, yeah, not so much, Nikki. But I genuinely get most of my love from other cities and states. And I, my anxiety and stuff is just too bad right now for all that. My, I, I just, because, yeah, meet and greets, I love them. I've had a lot of them. I had a ball at them. But they, they rattle your nerves, child. you like, is anybody going to show up? And is somebody going to show up acting crazy? So... Maybe in the future, but as of right now, I don't plan on doing any. So, I get, I feel like we would be friends in real life. <laughs> Child, I'm crazy. I really am. Now, nah, I'm a good, I'm a good, good person to have on your team. Just don't play with me and my Libra traits. You know, I be on people's team. I be loving them, feeling them, and they don't even be liking me or everything. They think it's malicious. Or I'm like, girl, who hurt you? Shit. So you got to have tough skin to deal with a lever child. Or me. But yeah. Child, maybe we would be. I'll let you know, honey. I don't even know who that is. Did I delete it? Speaking of the ex, he's texting now. See what he's saying. He asked me on a date. Can he cook for me? Y'all, y'all want to do that? Oh, hold on. So, <laughs> yeah. Next question. Can you convince our girl Miss Diva Like to come back to YouTube? You two are my fave. I text Miss Diva Like. She sent me a sad face. Let me tell you something. YouTube, especially on an OG, is very hard. It is very hard. To pave the way for a lot of people and then feel like you're getting shitted on. I can't even code it. Like, Miss Diva Like was the OG, her guru. Um, she the one that got brands and hair brands and stuff to start paying us and sponsoring us and stuff. One of the ones. And it's like the algorithm swallows you up. You know, I love Miss Diva Like the Pieces been the same person since when we started so i really wish she would come back too because but i understand why she don't it's been a lot of times i've been like man this is it's not the same for us y'all we're not we wasn't built to be content creators but was pushed over to it and so it's kind of like different oh my gosh it's so different for us it's so, like, people who started YouTube now, this is what they want to do. We was just like, 
doing stuff and paid and, and made a lot of stuff happen for y'all and it's just like youtube throw us out the algorithm so that's like damaging on your self-esteem on your mental health and so i understand why sis is taking a break or said i can't do this anymore it's a lot y'all it really is a lot it's a lot a whole lot so I text the child. She said, what was it? <laughs> no, I just went. <laughs> so, this question say, would you date another woman? I answered that as well. I did. I don't want to. <laughs> I want a man. Or a woman. Or a providing woman. If you're a woman... You have to sweep me the heck up on my feet. Because I'm traumatized. I wasn't trying to marry or date a woman then. Me and Nicole was going through some stuff and we met. And we thought we was going to be able to take each other out of that stuff. It made it worse, basically. So, me and Nicole should have never been dating or getting married. But we just were so into each other at the time. Because we was like, oh, she is making me feel better. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to say no, but it, it's not what I'm looking for. I'll say that. Are you going to create a content creator or how to get brand deals ebook? Mm -mm. It's enough people doing that, so I ain't going to tap into their coins. I'm not that influencer who, because everybody doing it, I got to do it. Like, I feel like my niece, uh, Bougie Barbie, got that on lock right now. Y'all follow her, get her ebooks. Sis. Little niece pushing Lambo trucks and stuff. I'm telling y'all how to get this content money. So, uh uh. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't, but damn it, I hate when I do that. Mm. I went too far down, y'all. I'm trying to go under the lash line. But no, I'm not going to. Not right. I don't have any plans on it, but I do have some other things in the work. So y'all can be out on the lookout for that type of stuff. But nah, not, I don't plan on doing like any kind of content books or anything like that. This is not a question, but my mom loves you like anytime she's on YouTube, she's watching your pretty self. Oh, hey mama. <laughs> I just met somebody at the uh, Charles and Miss Nettle meet and greet who mama loved me. We FaceTimed her and everything, y'all. It's in a block. But hey, mama. I'm so glad she let tell mama hey. Ka. So the next question say, No question. I see a new light in you. You are the true. You are the true to the statement of keep it pushing. Amen. And that's, that's what I want to be to y'all. I want y'all to see that life gets hard. But what you gonna do? You gonna let it beat you? You gonna let it punk you? You get what I'm saying? Get up, fight. Get up. I know the last few years I've been feeling like I've been getting jumped by 12 females. I still come up swinging. I, I can't give up. I don't like, I don't even like that word, give up. Y'all know I'm hot girl played over here. This phone going the freak off. Woo, I'm getting hot, y'all. No. Thank you for sharing your life with us. Went through a very similar breakup 13 years ago. I guess she was saying no to she don't have a question. You're welcome, honey. I, I, I'm I very strategic with why I shared everything with y'all. Well, I tried to be very strategic and I tried to let you know that it was... I tried to make it feel like it was coming from a... I'm going to help y'all... If y'all ever going through this, not like a messy situation. Because at first, a lot of people were saying, I think you're telling too much of Nicole business. But it's just like everything I was saying was my story. Y'all don't even know a quarter of what we done went through up here in this house. Like not even a fourth. Like dealing with mental health, boy, y'all don't even know. So I, I trust me, I ain't I ain't told none of her business really. I wanted to inspire you guys and let you know that like for one, stuff like this is gonna happen. 
And for two, you can still be friends after this stuff. Now, I don't know what some of y'all exes did to y'all. Because some of y'all like Chabu. But, as you can see, with me and all my exes. It's, it's just like things ain't work, work out, god dang. Next. But you still cool. You still a good person. I just want y'all to know that everything don't have to have to end on such bad terms like i feel like this is gonna blossom so much for us more in the situation that we in because we stay mad and sad because we wasn't fulfilling each other and we're both good people who deserves to be fulfilled so that wasn't fair are you currently dating and how's maya doing at the shop where y'all been child Yes, I am currently dating. <laughs> um, one person got ten toes in front of everybody. Though I ain't gonna lie. Woo! Child, first day they got me ready to get married again. But they got some issues they need to work through. So, hmm. How do I handle that, y'all? How? And Maya is doing excellent at the shop. She has moved. She has a lot of clients. And she makes a lot of money. I ain't been going to get my hair done. Because, like, all the wigs are so simple coming to me now. Like, really. Like this one right here. Pre-bleach. Pre-cut. Pre-plucked. Just put it on. So I'm not going to go up there and be in her shop like taking up spots for people who could be paying. Now at first it was good advertisement for her that I was up there but she got it now. So the last question on this page is where do you find decent people to date when you feel like being bothered? Okay I kind of answered that already. Yeah I kind of answered that already. Like I don't go find people. When I say this Listen to me good, y'all. I am not being cocky. I put this on. Sugar, I'm not being cocky. It felt like people was waiting on my marriage to fail. It felt like people was like somewhere back in the cut like they, they ain't doing too good. I'm finna wait my chance because it's like they came out of ready. So I haven't had to go through no like looking for nobody to date type stuff. It's a blessing. And for everybody who has missed so much of this, yes, I am dating now. And yes, I said I would. When I tap out of one thing, I tap out and I'm ready to move on. So we are going to go in with a pair of the lashes that came. Um, I'm going to, first of all, this is not the lashes. These are thicker. Yeah, these are thick. We're just gonna go in with the um yeah a pair of the lashes that came in the pack honey so it's a not a life update question really but my question is are you happy mm, no <laughs> i am a whole lot happier than i was when i was married though I had got really low when I was married and y'all didn't even know it. Like, it felt like I was, ah, oh, I just tore that. I just tore that. It felt like I was running on fumes. Like, I was just waking up to wake up. Have you ever, this is going to seem real dramatic, but I can only tell you guys the truth. Have you guys ever been going through something and then you woke up and was like, uh, I'm up. That is not a way to go through life. Like, you should not feel like that. And it got to the point where I was like, I'm up, but my dad is going to do this. Nicole is going to do this. And I was just like, I really wasn't happy. And I guess that's what started the whole shebang to where Nicole left. Because I told her, I'm not going into 2024 feeling like this. I'm not. So either we finna make a great improvement or we need to go our separate ways. Because I, I can't go into 2024 like this. So to answer your question. 
Um, I'm happier than I've been in years, but I'm not just like happy. I still got a lot of stuff to deal with. I know that makes sense to y'all. This is all still fresh. Like I said in my last video, I did after a month we wasn't together. This is two months. It's all still fresh. No question. Just wanted to say you're absolutely beautiful, amazing, and inspiring. Thank you so much, Paula. Thank you so, 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 so much. So glad you feel that way about me. That's the point, y'all. That's how I want y'all to feel. Inspired. All right, let's bring it on home. This flat iron has a hot comb on the end. You guys ask me all the time where I got it from. It was a Kiss Monster ship way, way back in the day. I actually did it on Shug Natural Hair, and they no longer sell it. I searched Google, eBay, and everything for y'all and cannot find this flat iron. I'm so sorry. So, it say, would you date a younger or older male or female? I don't think so. If, if I do, it got to be like, <laughs> like, three four years younger and you gotta have your stuff together baby you can't come half stepping with big plaques no ma'am no ma'am i would prefer not to i actually want somebody older like 90. okay so favorite meal hibachi i love me some hibachi baby baby baby, baby. i love them vegetables i love that garlic butter rice I love, I love it. Hibachi me, please. Favorite dessert, carrot cake from Buck Cake. I could eat that cake every day. If I could eat cake every day. Does that make sense? Oh, it's so good to me. Okay, this next one say, favorite hobby we don't know about is actually shooting. And I don't mean that like in a thug like way. Like I love when my daddy take me to where he's from, which is East Texas. We go to the cemetery and we just shoot different guns. Like um different kind of rifles, nine, three eighty automatics, forty fives, a chopper, what you got? <laughs> and it's always funny because my daddy and them always miss me and they be like you a diva all the way around because I can walk somebody in heels. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, if you shoot guns, you know what that means. I can walk you down in some heels, baby. So that's my favorite hobby. Y'all had some good questions. They wasn't all focused around my ex. Thank y'all so much for that. What trips you have planned in 2024, 25? Uh-uh. The right hand don't tell the left hand what it's going to do. No, just wait. <laughs> Is that how they go? Y'all know I don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Even when I do travel, I don't post any of that. Oh, and I, you nice, you nice. How y'all pronounce it, Eunice? No, you did. Girl, I'm cute. Y'all know I don't. I don't ever even post my pictures and stuff. This is my favorite gloss. Let's be clear. That's the name of it. Top tier beauty. I had to tell y'all that. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It smells good too. It don't have like a fruity smell to it. Kind of smell like baby powder a little bit. I don't know if y'all want that sm the smell on y'all lips, but look at that. Okay, my camera blinking. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a whole bunch of trips, <laughs> but I don't tell much. I don't want to comb this with this. Be right back, because I got to change the battery anyway. All right, she back. I had to go get one of them. Uh, Y'all know when y'all get that pack of combs, and it's always like that one or two you don't use. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Kaboom. <laughs> is this one of the ones y'all use or not? Or not? Girl, this is bum. Wait, I don't even want to comb through these curves. Let's see, we got... One, two more to go. Good, 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 because I'm done. Um, to answer, to follow up on the last question, yeah, I don't tell, I don't put online what I'm doing. I just do it and pop back out like, been to Cancun, been to Jamaica. For security reasons, safety reasons. I just don't. 
I, I y'all might feel like I put out my business online and live my whole life online, but I do like stuff to still be a little private. I, I'll tell y'all, show y'all what I want y'all to see, okay? But yeah, we got some trips. Definitely got some trips. So let's get these last three questions out the way. Just want to let you know I love, love, love your platform and your nose never fail me. Oh, thank you, honey bun. She's referencing perfume. I love perfume. Y'all love perfume. I love finding y'all deals and steals and all of that. And... We gonna smell good together, child. Alright. How y'all like this hair? Ooh. <laughs> Alright, so the last one say, how have your business survived after the pandemic and current economy? That's a good question because I was just talking about that in the blog too, how a lot of people are out of business and stuff now. Um, You just adjust. You don't order as much inventory as you would. Actually, I'm surprised my business even surviving, period, because I don't even load new stuff. But it's still, it's still, we still got, we still be at the post office every other day, child. It's a blessing. Jesus, it's a blessing. I always just say, God, don't play about me. I, I, I have no idea how I do it sometime or how it's done sometime. But God, don't play about me. But if you are someone else, um, you just have to go with the times. Order less. Don't spend so much on inventory. Um, downsize your warehouse if you got one. Downsize your supplies. If you sell 10 items, go to selling 7. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta move with the times and pray everything um, get back on track. Alright, so that's all the questions. I have another question and answer coming up. It was some questions for me and my daughter. That'll be its own separate video. And I will be back. Um, let me know what you guys want next. Do you want one of those assumptions about me videos? Or you want another question and answer? But that's not going to be to like a month from now. So thank y'all for y'all questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I hope I answered you guys questions to the best of my ability without being, you know, over dramatic, messy or anything like that. And don't forget to check out your nice hair, okay? Isn't this just what? What? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and subscribe to my makeup channel as well. Rate the video, thumbs it up, comment below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.